So let's talk about what to eat after you have your gallbladder removed. So the first thing you want to try to understand is why you had the gallbladder out in the first place. So a couple things will cause uh, gallbladder problems. Number one, uh, estrogen. That could be from birth control pills. Let's say you were pregnant. Let's say you uh, are taking hormone replacement therapy, etc. Number two, high levels of insulin will do that. So a highly refined carbohydrate diet, a lot of junk food, a lot of sugar, and also certain side effects from medications will create gallstones and a destruction of the gallbladder. So whatever you did that could have created that, you want to clean that up. So just because you had your gallbladder out and now you're able to eat certain foods that you didn't eat before and they're unhealthy, uh, you don't want to continue to do that. Simply because the gallbladder problem was just a symptom of a bigger problem. So you really want to clean up your diet. And that's what I'm going to recommend right here, especially if you don't have a gallbladder because you have certain weaknesses that you're going to have to compensate for. The biggest thing is this. So when they remove the gallbladder, they remove the storage pouch for bile. Bile helps you dissolve the fat to help you extract certain nutrients from the fat. Without that, and I'm talking about the storage a sac and the concentration of the bile, now you are going to have a deficiency in bile because you no longer can store it. And one point about that is that when you don't have the gallbladder, um, you don't have the ability to concentrate the bile. In the gallbladder, you're basically concentrating bile up to 20 times, not 20%, 20x. So that bile is so super concentrated, it doesn't take much to be able to create the uh, full of a digestive effect that you need. So you don't have this concentration anymore of bile. So you're going to have this uh, diluted bile in smaller amounts. So eventually you end up with uh, deficiencies in vitamin A. That's the eyes, sinuses, the immune system, vitamin D, the bone, vitamin E, the heart. Even your hair needs vitamin E vitamin K. That's one thing. Number two, lower amounts of omega-3 fatty acids. So that's really important in heart, in vision, in brain, cognitive function, mood. So if you can't absorb these, um, it doesn't help to take more of them because you're not processing or breaking it down. So what does that mean? It means that you should probably take some purified bile salts. I put a link down below for more information on what I would recommend for that. Now, as far as the symptoms that can occur after they remove the gallbladder. Um, these are some side effects. But I think if you eat correctly and you support what you're missing, I think you can really minimize these effects right here. But number one, gastritis, acid reflux, diarrhea. Because what's happening is the liver is making bile and it's trickling down this little duct into the small intestine. Even when you're not eating, <laughs> So it's just kind of constantly draining. And bile is a lubricant for the colon. So it's going to create a laxative effect. But also you could have constipation as well, depending on what's happening. A lot of times when they remove the gallbladder, you develop scar tissue in there, and then that can obstruct the bile even more. And then you have even more of a deficiency. And if you don't have enough bile, you get constipated because there's no lubrication. So you can have either one. Another symptom is anal leakage. Another one is abdominal pain. Uh, and realize the microbes in your gut help you recycle bile. 90% of the bile is recycled. So if you have any problems with your micro bacteria down here, that can be another reason why um, you're suffering over here in the production of bile because they're both connected. Okay, gas, fat, malabsorption, we talked about that. And even stones in the liver, and I'm talking about developing stones in the duct that comes right out of the liver right here. That's a potential because the stones actually are caused by a deficiency in bile. So anyway, that's one possibility right there. All right, what would you eat? Number one, you don't want to do necessarily a low-fat diet. Why? Because it's the fat that triggers the bile release. So the lesser amount of fat that you eat, the lesser bile production but we don't want to do too much because we don't want to overload the system um, because you only have a certain amount of bile. Um, and so if you actually have too much fat, you're just going to strain the whole system because you don't have enough bile to digest that fat. So a moderate amount of fat, not a low fat diet, not a high fat, a moderate 
amount of fat, moderate amount of protein, and low carbs. Why? Because it's high insulin that causes the problem in the first place. Okay, High insulin will deplete your bile reserve. Higher amounts of vegetables would be very, very uh, beneficial. And the more bitter a vegetable is, the better. Apple cider vinegar will help you increase the flow of bile through these ducts through here. Fermented vegetables are very, very beneficial. Why? Because they add the prebiotic, which is a the fiber that feeds the microbes to actually grow. That way you'll get better recycling with your bile. And it also has a probiotic effect. It has friendly bacteria to give you more bacteria to take the stress off this recycling mechanism right here. So fermented vegetables are really good. Big salads are very, very beneficial. Uh, you can even steam some vegetables as well. And the last thing you want to do is make sure you do not stuff yourself. Do not eat so much food that you're constantly bloated all the time. You're probably just going to have to be very aware on what you eat and to make sure you don't overdo it because that's going to put a big strain on this whole mechanism and shut down the bile even more and create more pain and more problem. All right. Thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis. How about that?